Well, he had that long first inning, got, did a nice job getting out of it, putting up a zero, um, and then he gave up that uh, three-run homer to Trevino, kind of a, a opposite field homer there. Um, I just didn't think that his breaking ball was as good tonight as it was in St. Louis. I thought there was a lot of arm side and up misses with his fastball. Just that maybe he was over amped early, but I just didn't think his command was as good tonight as, as it has been. Up and down performance that you can, can kind of expect from a, from a rookie. Well, he's a young starter that is only got a few starts under his belt and he's facing the Yankees and he just um, thought he had good stuff, just didn't quite command it the, the way he has been the last couple starts. Last few games, the the bats have been pretty quiet. What are you, uh, what are you seeing from the bats? Well, we only had three hits, and two of them were solo homers by Tony. So, uh, I thought we faced a really good, another really good starter in Severino. I thought he was on tonight. Um, just throwing mid to high 90s with slider cutter change up. It's pretty good. So, and then their bullpen. We talked about before the game how good they are. So. Uh, yeah, tough assignment. We got mostly right-handers in the lineup. In the lineup, that's not easy to do against Sevy. Um, we gotta get more hits. Is it possible that some of the guys, specifically at the top of the order, could be pressing without guys like Hayes and Mountcastle in the lineup? Uh, I'm not sure. I, you know, we had an opportunity there in the first inning with uh, the first and third situation. That would have been uh, nice to get on the board there early. It didn't happen. Um, but I think we're facing some pretty good pitching right now, and you know, bottom half of the order is pretty inexperienced, and um, it's tough, tough to hit in the big leagues. Go through that lineup the way he did. Just yeah. how many steps forward have you seen him take relative to yeah. what you were seeing out of him last year? That was a huge pickup by Keegan Aiken tonight once again. Um, fun to watch him right now. It's just the the tempo on the mound. Uh, um, his fastball's gotten better. He's got more velocity on his fastball. His slider and his changeup have improved. Um, he's pitching with so much confidence right now. That's a really good lineup that he went three and two thirds, didn't give up a run, punched out three. So just he's doing a great job. Brandon, you talked a little bit about his pace, yeah. Keegan Aiken. It seemed like whenever he was having problems, his pace was just awful. It comes from confidence and relaxation. I th I, yeah, I just think that. I think it's definitely confidence for sure. He's pitching with way more confidence this year. In the past, you'd see him um, have a lot of ball out of hand misses, a lot of balls up, changeups kind of float. Didn't think the slider was as good. He had a tough time putting guys away. And this year, for me, his off speed has really improved. And his tempo on the mound is fantastic. It's probably really fun to play behind. Um, but he's just showing way better command, and his stuff has gotten better. And, and he's really adapted this role extremely well and kept us in so many games.